Okay, good morning viewers. Uh, we're here to cover the match uh, between Opel Wesson and Blitz Bullet. Uh, this is a Crazy House World Championship match. Uh, so we should see 10 matches. Um, it's now nearly 7am here uh, in Sydney. Uh, I was looking forward to covering an earlier match between Opel Wesson and Juwanit. Uh, that was about 7 hours ago. Uh, that one has been delayed. Um, so yeah, let's um, let's hope for a good match between Opelwes and Blitzbud. Um, in fact, these two uh, these two strong players uh, were up against each other in the round of 16. Uh, I believe Blitzbullet won uh, in a very close match. Uh, I think it went to five all and it went to a margin of two. Um, what's happened is uh, Chicken Crossroad was originally in the round of eight. He withdrew, uh, and uh, Opel Wesson has now taken his place. So, in a sense, Opel Wesson was knocked out in the round of 16, but he, he came back in uh, in the second chance tournament to take Chicken Crossroads' place. So, this is now the rematch between Opel Wesson and Blitz Bullet. Uh, I believe both of these players have only played three of their matches so far. Opel Wesson is on half a point out of three. Um, Blitz Bullet is on two points out of three. Um, so uh, Blitz Bullet uh, drew five all uh, with yours truly uh, right here. Um, in fact, I was I was probably quite lucky to get away with five all. Uh, there was uh, a bit of controversy with um, uh, Blitz Bullet making an auto queen move, which uh, meant I got away with the last match. Um, anyhow, here we are. Opel Wesson versus Blitz Bullet. They're set up, ready to go. Uh, good luck to both players. We've got. Uh, we'll be viewing the games from uh, Blitz Bullet's point of view. Um, so Opel Wesson to start with the white pieces. This is match number one. Um, we're starting at 38 and a half versus 36 and a half in their history. So uh, these two are very closely matched. Um, I expect we'll get underway just shortly. Um, so uh, yeah, this this weekend's promising a few more matches. Uh, very closely matched. Uh, just give me a moment here. My stream's just coming I've through now. I've definitely grown as a person since being in the army. Part I've of the noise here. To be more I'm just gonna have to... More switched on with life now because of things that I've learned. This is my army. Discover yours. Sorry about the ad there. I'm just coming. Gonna have to mute my sound. Okay. Alright, I have a feeling maybe they were waiting for uh, Twitch to catch up. Uh, it seems that uh, my stream didn't go through immediately. But we're here now. Okay. So, Blitz Bullet playing uh, Bishop E7. Um, we're heading straight into a line that I played against Hopper Wesson. This feels a bit like last weekend. Um, so, Hopper Wesson's come out pretty quickly. Uh, not sure if uh, Blitz Bullet has already seen this line. Um, Okay, so bishop at e6, this is the um, same line I played uh, against Upper Wesson, uh, which, which I think is, is balanced to both sides. The interesting match we had was uh, with pawn at e7. Um, there was, uh, I think it was game 7. Uh, game 7 in my series against Upper Wesson. Okay, knight f6 played here. So queen c3 is hitting g7. Now knight f6 hitting e4. So with this chance, uh, we've now got pawn e7 played. Uh, pretty much to distract the bishop off g7 and to try to make a hole in the black defense. Um, wow, so blitz bullet. Not liking um, the knight takes g7 moves. So if, if before bishop takes, uh, knight takes king f8 and, and bishop h6 was a little bit threatening, Blitz Bullet has opted to sacrifice the queen, but he's not really getting too much in return because this this pawn was hanging already on c7. Now Opel Wesson is uh, 
now putting more pressure on here. Uh, if black decides to castle, he's going to run into pawn at h6 at some stage. So look, I'm seeing whites up a queen for a piece here. Sure, blacks, blacks are not mated yet. Um, but, uh, you know, he hasn't really got a huge amount of compensation for it. So grabbing a pawn on e4, but uh, queen f4 here, attacking the knight, threatening knight at c7. Uh, you know, Opal Wesson is, is making more ground, he's threatening to win more material. Um, He's up on the clock, uh, nearly two minutes to one. Uh, I'm seeing chat in the channel. Fates warning, John, you should be supporting Opal Wesleyan. Good sport that is dangerous for second place. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to be impartial here. I mean, you know, we want we want every player to play their best. Um, I think it's, I think it's fantastic that the the tournament is so closely contested for second place at the moment. So, so a bit of context: um, twelve teams has, has run away with, with the event. Uh, five out of five. I'm currently on three and a half out of five myself. Um, so Blitz Bullet, Blitz Bullet's only dropped uh, one out of three points. I've dropped one and a half out of five points. If you want to look at it that way. Um, oh, but Opal Wesson's got this. He's got mate already. Queen f8, queen at d8, rook at h8. He'll see that pretty quickly. Okay, so look, Opal Wesson takes the first match very convincingly. Um, yeah, look, like from that opening, he, he won a queen pretty early, uh, and, and there wasn't much compensation from uh, from Blitz Bullet's side. Wow, Opal Wesson out of the gun. Off the blocks, I should say, very quickly. Sacrifice the knight here without much thought. So the idea of this setup is, is just to get a fortress around the white king and then play very actively with every other piece. Uh, seek compensation with this pin in the center. And so black's up a piece, but, but white will get plenty of play. And it's a kind of opening that uh, may actually be better for black, but practically is, is easier for white to play. And um, I've actually forgotten who I've been watching. I got it wrong way around. Blitz Bullet is playing white here. Sorry. Opal Wesson is playing black. So Blitz Bullet has uh, very quickly uh, sacrificed a piece here. Um, and uh, so, so it's Blitz Bullet that, that will have... Um, you know, the, the moves just seem easier to find. I mean, white doesn't really have to worry about complications around the king. Here, move. You know, I was thinking maybe bishop at d4. Uh, that was putting some natural pressure on the king. Uh, Legion destroyed 23. It says, Hello, Jan. Wasn't it Blitz Bullet who knocked out Upper Wesson? That's correct. Blitz Bullet knocked out Upper Wesson in the round of 16. Um, and that was a very close match, which I think went to 5 all and then went beyond. Um, this is a rematch given that, that uh, Upper Wesson now has a second chance. With Chicken Crossroad withdrawing, Upper Wesson won the second chance tournament. Uh, so this is. Uh, Opal Wesson's chance for revenge, you might say. Yeah, so I like Blitz Bullet's position here. I mean, there's there's a lot of pieces that Opal Wesson has, but they're off the board. He needs to be able to put these back on the board because White's just got such great defense here. All the pieces are in good places. Um, Blitz Bullet's got the initiative. He's got a bit more time. I, th I think this is the kind of position where, where Blitz Bullet will do well. Okay, Legion Destroyer 23 is tipping uh, Opal Wesson to take his revenge 7-3. Uh, okay, so now, yeah, e6 and g6 are both attacked. So this knight at e5 is to block off the queen and also uh, cover g6. 
So look, it's, the thing about Opal Wesson is he's, he's a very good chess player as well, and he's he's good at just holding on to material. Whereas some players may be more likely to give it in pretty quickly. Now here here's critical. I think if, if e takes d5, pawn at e6 is starting to make some inroads. That's a bit uh, bit difficult. And I like Opal Wesson's move here. I, I would actually do the same. Taking this looks dangerous because the pawn at e6, you start forcing things back. Um, black is already weak on the light squares, so you don't want to make another weakness with that. Knight at g5 was a nice move, hitting f3, but it also keeps the, the light squares in check. <coughs> the problem for, for black here is that... Pardon me, I need to cough for a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. The, the problem for black here is that white is just so safe and still has pieces in hand, still progressing. He's had to give back his queen not to, to make uh, his light squares too weak. So Opel Wesson's still holding on here, but I'm really concerned about the clock. Um, Blitzboard's done well to hold on to this F3 pawn. Now, now this is where Opel Wesson's trying to make some ground. So there's still plenty of fight here. And this is this is something that White can easily cover. Okay, a few dangerous checks here, but nothing with mate just yet. Opal Wesson finding the defences. So never write off Opal Wesson. But I think time's going to get the better of him here. If not for time, I'll tell you, Black, Black is still fighting very hard. Oh, okay. There's, there's some chances here. Both sides are going to enter a, a sharp battle here. I think Blitzboard should just move. He needs to, to make use of that time. Oh, knight at e5. Dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, he's got a safe king. He's up on the clock. He should just move. Yeah, down to the wire. See, Opal Wisdom is actually better right at the end there. Uh, and this is where time time management becomes critical. Uh, even in the last 10 seconds, Opal Wisdom looked really dangerous. So we go to one all. Uh, the white player has taken both matches here. Uh, Blitz Bullets. Probably going to have a bit of a think. E4, E5. What am I going to do against this, this opening that Opal Wisdom's cooked up? So we're going down the same line again. So yeah, Opal was came up with some fantastic attacking play against me in my games. Uh, now here Knight F6 was played and, and yeah, I'm expecting a deviation here. So Blitzblood has taken this first so that the options with uh, Pawn at E7 and Knight G7 are no longer there. And so now, you know, both players will enter unfamiliar territory. Wow, Oppa Wesson is going straight for it. Okay, so he's, he's trying to make a hole on f7. Now, queen e7 check is to, with tempo, try to defend f7. Queen e3 here is to try to pin the king or pin the queen to the king to still make pawn and f7 a threat. Now black has to be very careful here. If king f7, knight at g5 check, and uh, if a move like king g8, queen takes e7 will be the end of it. Um, now king d8's been played, if the queen captures, the bishop can capture, and then the rook 
will defend e8. So that avoids the queen at e8 mate threat. So Opperwesen will have seen this. So knight at g8 has been played. But this this looks safe for black. I think I dare say Blitz Bullet has come out of this opening much better than the first game. He's now up two pawns cold. Um, so yeah, if, if white can't find some initiative soon, black's going to use all his pawns in the center. Uh, he's got a nice open h file. So yeah, I think Opa Wesson's been aggressive early and trying to play fast, trying to play well on the clock. But uh, Blitz Bullet has, has danced his king and queen around very accurately. Okay. Uh, DS100 says, at Johnny Crazy House, hello, how crazy would it be to play Ultra Bull with 15 second Crazy House? I think that would be very crazy. Uh, I, I struggle enough with 30 seconds on the clock for, for Crazy House. Uh, I think if a Crazy House for chess for anything, 15 seconds is, is probably getting too fast for me. Okay, look, so, so Blitzboard's doing the right thing. He's got <coughs> he's got some knights out in open play, but he's also using pawns. And look, Opperwesen's already thrown in the towel. Uh, basically, Blitzboard was threatening to win all the pieces. Okay, so Blitzboard up 2-1. He's in good form. He's adapted very quickly after the first loss. And Opperwesen switching up openings. He's going for uh, knight of 6 and d5. Okay, early queen trade. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with this in, in Crazy House. I mean, I know in chess, you know, you're, you're giving up your right to castle. <coughs> but it's it's nearly symmetrical because in, in Crazy House, you can bring your pieces to the king. So it's, it's not so bad for the white king to live here. The E and D pawns have opened up for the bishops. So yeah, trivial thing, I mean, queen at e2 or queen at e1, I, mean, I might suggest queen at e1 sometimes, only because the bishop still has an open line, but it's fairly trivial. Sometimes you, know, you have to block with a pawn on d3 anyway, and then queen moves out. So look, this is a balanced position here. Balance on material, balance on the pieces. I mean, I'm expecting queen at e2 here, yep, so blocking the check and also defending And uh, Opa Wesson is a creative player. He'll, he'll be looking to find initiative, find activity. I think he's he's very he's very motivated coming into these matches. So Blitz Bullet just holding solid at the back here, trying to progress with Knight at e5. But both players still solid. No, no one really has any weaknesses here. Now HG can't be taken immediately. Okay, so so Opperwesen's made a bit of a dent. He's picked up a piece for a pawn. So I'd say black slightly better here. And Opperwesen's going the right way about it. You just cannot try to attack this position too quickly. So picking up material is a good way to progress. What I'd like to see Opperwesen do better here is manage the time. He's he's down a little bit, one minute forty to two minutes. But if he lets it get down to a time scramble again, <coughs> Blitz Blitz Bullet will, will take it down. So d4, a good move. It's resourceful. It's defending the knight, but also bringing bishop c4 out, which is potentially threatening f7. So that does need to be addressed. Wow. So this, this is not your typical kind of knight at g3. The idea is takes knight at f2, then forks both. It's also forking the bishop and the rook currently. Uh, Opperwesen's idea is if he, if he plays bishop c4, he's going to say, well, you can take my queen, I'm going to grab your rook. And so rook at f2 is now a threat. So, yeah, it's, it's still... 
still a game here. Blitzbolt's making a wise choice to defend the pawn on f2. Yeah, there's, there's an open line here. Wow, queen e5. I didn't expect that. So knight of g3, he's going all out, all out for initiative. And then knight f2 is an option. Okay, rook at e1 now, mate, threat. <coughs> so white may have to give a queen back. But I think it's important here for Oppenweizen not to overthink this position. See, rook at e1 is, is the intuitive move, but, but rook at g1 is, is nice as well. If queen takes, he grabs the bishop here. Bishop takes h3, a pawn at g2 are now continuation options. And, you know, white's not actually able to threaten black that quickly with the pieces he has in hand. <coughs> so, you know, this is this is a position where Oppoesen will be comfortable. This is a position where he's had to fight very hard all the way through, but he can feel that he'll be able to feel here that he's making progress and Blitz Bullet <coughs> starting to, to go down on the clock a little. So Knight F four covering against those two threats I mentioned. Bishop H three and Pawn G two. So let's see how Oppelwesen responds. Wow, well, still bishop h3. So queen at b7 trying to get some initiative. But rook d8 is checked. This is looking dangerous for white. I don't like white's chances. Bishop f1. I actually thought knight takes h3 was a better move than queen at b7 because if uh, pawn at g2, white had knight takes g1. I think that was a missed opportunity. This is now so dangerous. There's, there's a discovery check coming off the back. Yeah, no, this is clearly better for black now. Black's so safe. Black's got lots of pieces in hand. I mean, Opal Wesson is, is dangerous. You know, the, the trick here is Knight C7, making sure that doesn't happen. So I think Opal Wesson's taking a step back from the attack just to make sure he doesn't get mated. Queen f7 was the dangerous move. He's just avoiding all the mates. He's been very accurate. Okay, queen at f3 was, was a mate in one, but he'll, he'll win on time if he doesn't win on the block. So, Oppel Wesson fights back. We've got two all here. This is going to be a good match, guys. Uh, these guys are very close in the round of 16. Okay. Blitz bullet again going for this setup, uh, Fanchetto. Uh, Legion Destroyer 23 says, I don't get why you say Upper Wesson is creative. Well, he, he is having played against him a long time. I think it's, it's to say that, you know, the, the traditional crazy house or bug house player you know, sees the game in a certain way. And Opperwesen has come more from a chess background. And of course, there have been other players that have done so as well. But there's just some moves that a typical crazy house player won't play. And, and I feel like Opperwesen has, has found some nice tactics or possibly some moves that are, are less direct but more effective. Um, that's what I mean by him being, being creative and that he's not the typical... Crazy house player. So, so look, there was there was a peace sacrifice here. Let's let's catch up catch up with the game. Uh, I expected him to go for g6, but he's gone for f7. So he's he's hunting the initiative here. Um, but sport has given the piece back, possibly to make this knight look a bit less useful. But uh, in giving the piece back, you know, the black king is a little less safe than the white king. So he's, he's addressing that here. This is this is going to be an unfamiliar position for both players, and I think there's there's plenty of play for both sides. So I mean, there's a pawn on my offer here. He's taking that, but Bishop at f5 is always going to come in. Queen d5, Bishop b6. So that pawn will fall back.
So it's still very balanced position here overall. Okay, knight at d5. So looking for some initiative here potentially. I mean, I find Opel Wesson is, is really an aggressive move, mood today. He's, he's not castled here. It's probably possibly not favourable castling. You might run into pawn at g4, pawn at h3. So the king may actually be safer here. But it does get tricky. If white loses a knight, he's got to look out for the checks on c2, d3. Okay, but this is a game. Both, both players are are well into the element of the game. Now bishop c4, a nice move. It's it's cutting off the king from castling. Can't castle either way, and he's threatening to take a knight. Because if the black king can play something like knight at d3 and start displacing the white king, grab f4 here, he'll have pieces to fuel an attack, and his king will start looking safer. So I think Opel Wesson needs to to take a look at his safety here. Okay, the, the chat has picked up. Patrick uh, JM1 says I'm decent at quick chess, but this stuff is beyond my ability. Uh, ABOSZ, or so a boz, he says, John Lee, your last match. Uh, so well played, watched in on your YouTube channel, great stuff. Thank you, Aboz. Um, I felt like I, I played well uh, too. Uh, Oppo Wesson, it, he was he was bringing his A game uh, last week. I think he's he's a very tough opponent here for Blitz Bullet as well today. Uh, so look, I'll catch up on comments again, but uh, here what's happened is Blitz Bullet has opted for uh, no. Oppo Wesson has opted for some safety with pawn at e2 to get the king across. There's no longer a bishop on h3, so that's quite sensible. The king is now safer here than it was in the middle. He's lost a piece, but there's there's still some some light square weaknesses to be aware of. We're down into the last minute here, so the practical decisions are going to count now. This is the clock starts to matter. I'm feeling concerned for Blitzbullet. Blitzbullet is still okay here, but this is where Oppo Wesson is most dangerous. So pawn at g5 played to defend the h6 square. Oppo Wesson still coming at the king. Okay, clock's gonna matter. Both guys have to move fast. This this is not easy to pick. This this is still a live game for both. Black objectively is, is up on pieces, but uh, in the last 30 seconds, this is not easy to defend. This white queen can't currently be hit effectively by the knights, so... Ooh. Oh, now Blitz put low on time. I'm picking up a Wesson here. He's going to be quick. Well, Oppo Wesson just cleaning up the pieces and he's, he's cleaning up on the clock as well, so... Oh, this is down to the wire. He's trying to find mate, but he's, he's just got to move. Oh! So tight, so tight. Oppo Wesson up now 3-2, and, and Blitz Bullet is playing very well as well. He's defending like a rock, and Oppo Wesson is finding a way through. And, and this is the uh, creative play I'm talking about. I mean, the, the, so a lot of Oppo Wesson's moves weren't checks there, and it's more tempting to play the checks uh, under duress, uh, particularly for a crazy house player when you're tuned that way. So, very impressed with Oppo Wesson's plays. He's come back from 2-1 down to now 3-2 up. Uh, let's see how Blitz Bullet responds here. And uh, he's tried to uh, get himself safe on the king side, and Oppo Wesson has just gone very aggressive with h5. Now Blitz Bullet giving another piece back. 
uh, for some material to try to keep his king safe and, and start some initiative on, on black. Oh, got to be careful here. White's got a few pieces. So I like how Blitzbull is playing. He's prioritising his own king first. This is not a rook that needs to be moved. I'm just impressed by Apple Wesson. He's not backed off with a move like Pawn in F7 or anything. He's just still trying to go, go, go on the king. He's just going dark squares, dark squares, dark squares. He's playing at a quick pace. So if takes, queen takes, bishop at h2, king h1, and then the queen is threatening e6. You know, Blitz, Blitz is playing just fine here. Um. <coughs> he's not down 3-2 because he's playing badly. Now this, this is actually now very dangerous because queen g3 is no longer playable because of knight e2 check. So I should knight e2 check. That's a problem for white. Oh, so unfortunately white didn't really have enough resource to hurt the black king because the black king had a safety hatch here. Um, now here, here black needs to be careful if king b8 knight at c6 is a possibility. He's had to give up the queen to stay safe. But does he have enough to, to mate here? I feel like he doesn't. He, he may have an obscure mate. You're looking at moves like knight f1, rook h3, pawn at g3. No, I think he's found if bishop takes, queen at f2 is going to mate. If king takes, or oh, is, is it rook at h4, pawn at g5. I think I think Opal Wesson's found mate here. Yeah, queen at f2 is mate here. Yeah, blocks knight f1, pawn at g3, rook at h2. Wow. Wow. Um, you know, Blitz Bullet is not just playing good defense today. He's playing an opening that makes it easier to defend. And Opal Wesson is still just running straight through him. Amazing. Opal Wesson straight up to 4-2. Goodness. Oh, I'd be shaking in my boots if I was Blitz Bullet at this moment. Okay, Gambit. D4, C3. Now this is this is very aggressive for White. Basically, White's giving up a pawn, but the pawn he's giving up is the one on c2, which isn't that critical. He gets possibly an extra move in development, very clean open lines. So uh, Black's Black's optimal play here is probably to try to minimise trades, just uh, accept a passive position for now. Yeah, you know. Opal Wesson could, could overcook this position. Wow, just so aggressive, so fast. I'm not sure if this is something that's prepared or if he's just playing on adrenaline. Look, he's, he's, he's finding the moves. He's got dangerous lines here. He's got dangerous lines here. He's, he's definitely got compensation. Um, if you count the material, white is now down two pawns, but that's that's negligible relative to all the attack potential from here. This is this is dangerous. Okay. Legion Destroyer 23 asks, do you think Opal Wesson's creativity is good in general? Like, would it win against a computer? Oh, I mean, the computer is a different story. The computer is brute forcing. Uh, you know, I think when I, when I talk about creativity, I think it's, it's going to hurt a human much more than a computer. I'm already calling this 1-0 to Opal Wesson. <coughs> There's just too much attack potential here. This, you know, pawn of d2 is good to try to make something here. But uh, if, if white can just hold off the attack, he may even just ignore the attack. I don't know about this. I think that 
I would have liked to see Opel Wesson just take one step back and play Knight at d3 and just really prevent any initiative from coming in. But he's pretty safe here with Knight at f1 as well. Um, but yeah, Blitz, Blitz Bullet can be resourceful, so you've got to be careful. He has to take with the right pawn as well. You don't want to open up this file. It might really, it might provide some chances for knight at h3. So he's going to go with the checks. I mean, white's still better here. Oh goodness, that's that's all over. That's crushed. Yeah, I agree with Vig. Good, what a crush. Queen f6. No, oh, that's that's game over. That's, it just even looks bad. Oh my goodness, so so that's that's what I'm saying. I mean Oppo Wizen, you know, I was saying maybe he could have just taken a step back to defend. F4, move one, okay. The gambit played e5, d6. This is quite common. I actually like this for black. Um Oppo Wizen now five games to two. But uh let's let's not uh let's not uh, write off Blitz Bullet here. He's he's a class player. But oh well. Oppo Wesson has, has really taken it up a notch. Um, yeah, I think the, the note about creative play gets a computer. I mean, a creative, you know, the computer will just brute force and find find all the lines. I thought Rook H2 would, would be playable here, and it's nearly admitting Black's um, free initiative here. Black, Black now has the pawn back. So sorry if I've got the names wrong again. It's Oppa Wesson that played the gambit. Sorry if I've called Blitz Bullet. I've um, not been attentive. Wow, like, okay, Blitz Bullet's already, you know, the king's unsafe. All these pieces around. Uh, that That's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a move of desperation. Queen of g4 is a mate threat here. King e2 is necessary. Defending this way. But uh, Oppa Weston's not even troubled on the clock. Uh, so Queen at d1, a mate threat here. Knight d5 is, is a natural move. It's a... Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't see any other move that Oppa Weston plays. He's now threatening to take the last defender with check. So Bishop d2 is necessary from Blitz Bullet. But... Yeah. This this looks like Oppa Weston's going to take it. Okay, uh, I'm going to catch up on some comments. Um, <laughs> Living says, it's John Lee. I saw a video of you beating Stockfish 8. You're a legend. Yeah, but Stockfish 8 has improved since, and it beat me up a number of times. Uh, that was an earlier version of, of Stockfish. I'm definitely the lesser player now. So so here we've, we've got mate coming up just shortly. Pawn at f2 is going to win, so queen d3 is, is an easy... Well, there's many ways to skin this cat now. Okay, Oppa Wesson. Impressive. Uh, the first three matches very tight, got to 2-1. And he's, he's just run away with five in a row to take this 6-2. Now, now he's... Uh, Tightening the screws, so this this is now just to see who who can get more points. I mean, Blitz Bullets thrown in a weird opening here. I think someone like Oppa Wesson's, you know, this is this is nearly like a tilt match. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's unfortunate for Blitz Bullet. He, he's actually played really well, and you know, it's gotten so tight. See, look at this, Queen H5. You didn't think that long about it. Knight at f4, king h6, knight f7, wins this queen. If the king came back, uh, knight h5 was going to play. So white just has you know, tons of initiative here. White is actually up a pawn. Um, queen check, it's covered by bishop e3. Queen at f7 is dangerous, it's to be covered. The rook's hanging. This is 
This is this is murder. Queen H7 made it work. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, Opa wasn't. You know, when I've played him in casual matches, sometimes he's just you know, looking for strange lines. Yeah. Look. Let's pull it here. I think he slipped with King F2 or something. Um, yeah, I was, I was saying, you know, Opa and sometimes is just playing for fun and, and playing different lines. Um, he, I got the indication that he was... It was after the, the match I played with him. I mean, he, he told me he actually prepared a few hours for the match that I played against him. I actually prepared a few hours for my match against Opa Wesson, knowing how many different openings he can come up with. And largely, he avoided my opening preparation. So I was lucky to get away with a score like 7-3. I actually played... Played quite well on the day as well, um, but this is just an example. If, if he puts his head down uh, and really finds all the moves, it's tough. You know, Bishop B4 here has to be blocked by a knight. If you block with a pawn, it's going to be taken, and then pawn it to his mate. So he's just got all the rhythm. Upper Wesson today. The knight F2 threatening this. Now, Miko 7 says, I hope you'll do better uh, in another stockfish session. He said, uh, how on earth does one manage to change context without any performance loss? He can change from chess to crazy house on a win. Yeah, so so that's another thing. Opal Wesson has played all sorts of variants. So, you know, I, I'm a crazy house specialist. I pretty much stop playing chess altogether. Um, Oppo Wesson is able to play at a very high level in chess and other variants. Uh, and, and Penguin GIM is just, just the same way. Uh, very strong chess player, but can just switch up, play other things. So look, I'm calling this 01 again. Uh, Bishop G5, a nice move. If takes Queen at E1 mates. This is now threatening Queen at C1. It's threatening to take the Bishop. It, it defends against this. Like, it's just a nice move, Bishop at G5. Okay, Opal was an 8 2. Amazing. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, Blitz Bullet pretty quick to leave the room there. Uh, he'll be disappointed with that. Um, okay, that, that uh, balances up uh, the leaderboard. So, uh, yeah, I mean, someone was commenting in the channel, you know, Blitz Bullet is, is definitely a contender for second. This, this now brings him down to, uh, not down, but he's now on 2 out of 4. Uh, I'm on three and a half out of five. So look, I also had a, another another request uh, from last week to show uh, what the, the standings are uh, at the end of one of these. So I'm going to bring up the standings. Uh, well, yeah, Blitz was on tilt the last couple of matches. I mean, after 6-2, um, I don't think he cared too much. Uh, yeah, um, I feel for Blitz Bullet. Like Opal Wesson just just took him to the cleaners there. Um, no offense to Blitz Bullet, he played it, played played well. Um, <clears throat> just Opal Wesson just just played even better. So look, let's let's bring up the uh, standings. So the website I'll put here. I'll, I'll post it in the the chat as well, just here. Uh, you can have a look at this yourselves, um, but uh, let's just get the window arranged. So a website's been set up uh, between Fishy Bishy and uh, most updates managed by Krosky, in fact. So uh, on, on this uh, website, uh, Crazy House World Championship slash home, it's hosted on sites.google.com. Uh, there's, there's a cross table button. Um, this uh, first page here just, just kind of shows who, who's leading at the moment. Um, but the one you want to click on is a little bit further down. Sorry, I'm just trying to work with the, the resolution I've got on my screen. Cross table gives you a very comprehensive look at every single match that's been played. Uh, you've got... Um, 
you read the, the table from left to right. So you know, here I've got a zero against Master Tan. That indicates I lost to Master Tan and I lost 4-6. I've won against Opal Wesson 7-3. I've won against you at A2. So that's got the whole, uh, the whole view of every match that's been played. I'm just trying to get this all visible to the viewers. Um, and there's also a nice summary uh, in stats uh, here, which, which indicates how many matches have been played <coughs> so far by each of the players and, and what their current standings are. So, you know, um, well, uh, I was... Yeah, it looks like Krosky's already updating this live. Uh, that's impressive. So Krosky must have been watching as well. Um, that match you just saw there, that just got updated then. So Blitzball is now on two out of four. He was on two out of three. Opal Wesson was on half out of three. Um, he, he had uh, drawn against Master Tan 5 all, and he had lost to both 12 team and myself. But, uh, you know, Opal Wesson's been playing amazing. So, you know, if you look at this, the standout, of course, is 12 team. Five out of five. He's on plus five. I've got my match uh, against him coming up in less than 24 hours. Uh, well, I gather there's been a little bit of hype around that one in the forums. Um, uh, we'll play at 7:30 p.m. GMT on uh, Saturday, 29th April. Uh, so that is about just under 20 hours from from right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm on three and a half out of five, so I've, I've dropped one and a half. But look, if, if you look at this field, it's only 12 team and I that have had the positive scores. Uh, so Blitz Bullet, certainly the next contender. I mean, the way you've got to look at this, because we've all played different numbers of matches, I think it's the, the key part is the top two players out of this round robin get to go to the World Championship match, and that will be a total of... 60 games played between the two players in three flights of 20 games each. Uh, so at the moment, look, 12-10, you'd have to pick. He's, he's going to qualify because uh, he's, he's just so far ahead of the pack. So it's really a race for second. Um, I think you've got to count how many points have been dropped. So I've dropped one and a half. All you need is left is drop two and a half. Master Tam's dropped three. Uh, Opal Wesson two and a half, Joanna two and a half, Ecaf three, Blitzbullet two. So, you know, if you count it that way, I've, I've got the the closest shot, I suppose. I've, I've dropped one and a half, but you know, I've still got two matches to go, and and anything can happen. There's there's still some players with three matches to go. Uh, Ecaf has four left, but he's dropped three. So, uh, what will happen is if we have a tie. For example, if we had two players come in equal second, then the games won will start to count and factor into it. Uh, so at the moment, you know, I've actually not won that many fewer games than 12 team. Uh, he's on 34 out of 50, I'm on 32 out of 50. Uh, but, but 12 team has actually won a number of matches, six games to four. Uh, he had a very close one against Ecarf last week. In fact, Ecarf was looking very good at 4-3. At um, he was ahead 4-3 and 12 team won the last three matches to take the match 6-4. Uh, but, but he's won uh, two matches, eight games to two, and he's won uh, three matches, six games to four. Um, I'll try to get that showing on the screen. Yeah, I think it is. Um, whereas I've, I've lost a match to Master Tan, but lost at 4-6, and I've, I've had a few wins that are slightly more convincing, 7-3, 8-2, and 8-2 against opponents. That 12 team has, uh, has had uh, lesser scores again. So, yeah, I mean, um, that's, that's the standings at the moment. Um, I think, yeah, third and fourth position also win a, win a money prize. So, uh, if we go to the prize fund, I wonder if this quotes, yes. So, let's, let's just remind the, the viewers uh, what the players are playing for in terms of money. Um, Fishy Vishy has generously put up the prize fund himself. Uh, there's 460 here. Uh, the champion will take $100. The challenger, $50. Um, third place finisher in the candidates takes 30. Fourth place finisher takes 20. And there's a raft of other prizes, little novelty prizes, plus a prediction tournament, which has drawn a lot of interest uh, from the community. Um, so, 
yeah, look, let's leave it there. Um, yes, Opel Wesson's win against Blitzboard in the context of, of the main scores does balance the tournament, so to speak. Um, you know, uh, Opel Wesson was, was on half out of three, now one and a half out of four. Uh, joins a number of other players that are also on one and a half out of four. And uh, Blitz Bullet, who was on two out of three, has now dropped dropped a match. He wasn't uh, he hadn't lost a match before today, in fact. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm glad to have been able to cover uh, one of the matches live. Um, hope you've been enjoying the Crazy House World Championship. Um, not sure if I'll be able to cover Opel Wesen versus Juana. I'm not yet sure what, what time that one's going on. Um, I'll be playing my match without live stream. I'll, I'll do a voiceover. I'm going to need all my focus up against 12 team. He's in fine form. Uh, so looking forward to that match. Um, I think we'll both bring a good game. Um, start of the weekend. Uh, should be a lot more good crazy house to come. So stay tuned. Uh, you know, Krosky, at your feet. Not sure if they're going to cover some of the matches, but if you can't see them on a stream, then just check it out on, on leechess.org. Uh, fantastic website. Okay. Stay safe. Enjoy weekend. Uh, I'll post this on YouTube shortly. All right. Take care.